for coming and making Odeon your first choice. May we remind you that for the convenience of those patrons who prefer not to smoke, seating areas on the right-hand side of this auditorium have been designated as no smoking areas. Your cooperation is appreciated. Welcome to the first choice. First, he created the most frightening film ever made. Then, he took his unique vision of terror one step further. Now, George A. Romero takes us out of the night, beyond the dawn, and into the darkest day of horror the world has ever known. Day of the Dead. There have to be survivors in Washington. Oh, my. They have more sophisticated shelters than this one. Oh, there have to be people in those shelters who know about us, who know where we are. With no radio contact, they'll come looking for us. I said shut up! They can be tricked into being good little girls and boys. The same way we were tricked into it. On the promise of some reward to come. What the fuck is wrong with you people? They're dead! They're fucking dead, and you want to teach them tricks? They have to be rewarded, Captain. Why else will they do what we want them to do? I don't want them to do anything but drop over! <laughs> George A. Romero's Day of the Dead, the most eagerly awaited day in horror film history. think we're being supplied with the victims of murder. We are anatomists, not policemen. We're scientists, not moralists. I need bodies. They brought bodies. 
I pay for what I need. I do not hire murderers. In a time when men of science... Do you realize the progress that could be made in medicine if we were to be given free access? To what? Bodies. Worked hand in hand with men of evil. There's work to be done. No need to be made. A doctor's desire for the truth became an obsession. This is the best material I've had in years. And a criminal's greed <coughs> became something much deadlier. Just have your money ready and your mouth shut. This one's fresh. Too fresh. I'm frightened, Thomas. Oh, well, for God's sake! They need assistance. Let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear it! Fallon and Broom provide that assistance. They will call you murderer and butcher. The man must be stopped. You're a rotten, lying murderer. Fresh bodies, fresh bodies. What you love is the feeling when you're stopping our life. The Doctor and the Devils. Someone is coming back to Elm Street. He is not friendly. He is not patient. Kill for me! And he is not a welcome visitor. No! 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 But he has something terribly special for the new kid on the block. It started to happen again. Dad! I'm in trouble. You've had some scary dreams, okay? Help! Daddy can't help you now. There's something inside of you. <laughs> Fight him! You are not afraid of him. He doesn't even exist. No! Freddy Krueger is back on Elm Street. Get out of here, Lisa! Jesse, fight him! Watch out for him. He'll be in your neighborhood soon. You are all my children now. A Nightmare on Elm Street, part two. You've got the body here. I've got the brain. Freddy's Revenge. <laughs> Darling Black Label. Nah, he doesn't wash his underpants. Your best bet for a fuller flavour.
you had an extra strong mint. So he said it was like eating a fried wetsuit. <laughs> No thanks, Jeff. Well, looky here. Hi. You got any barbers where you come from, boy? <laughs> this coffee place. Say, boy, what's your name? Sylvia. You call me Buddy. You still live someplace, boy? No. Oh, wow. Life in your equipment. Long life. Ever ready gold seal. The heart of the machine. Five GTI one point nine. On September the twenty seventh, join in the great underground capital paper in aid of Help a London Child. It's a sponsored gallabout around eighteen London tube stations. There'll be special events at Oxford Circus, Warren Street, even Waterloo. Get details and sponsorship forms from underground stations. your friends in our Hollywood bar. now. Get the big taste of Wessler's hot dogs. Bite. After bite. After bite. Big tasting Wessler's. Get them where you see this brand. Can you handle one? Two-minute warning. E 
Meats and Drinks are now available. It's your last chance before the film. This is Jack Burton in the Pork Chop Express, and I'm talking to whoever's listening out there. It's a pretty amazing planet we live on here, and a man would have to be some kind of fool to think we're all alone in this universe. There is a hidden world where ancient evil weaves a modern mystery. What's going on here? Is this some kind of... Magic. The darkest magic. Ow! They call it Little China. Finally, we shall bring order out of chaos. It's where big trouble was waiting for Jack Burton. Who? Jack Burton. Me. Jack. Jack. Jack! They told him to go to hell. He make one move. Jack! And that's just where he's going. Somebody, I don't care who, tell me what is going on. How are you going to spring us? I have no idea. There are many mysteries, many unanswerable questions, even in a life as short as yours. <clears throat> My destiny rests in your capable hands. Hey, I'll do my best. Ah! Oh, God, is this really happening? This is gonna take Cracker Jack timing, Wang. One, two, three. may be trapped. Total concentration. Safety. Huh, yeah. You ready, Jack? I was born ready. Way to go, Jack. 20th Century Fox presents Kurt Russell in John Carpenter's Big Trouble in Little China. On the reflexes. 